What's up, lovelies? Welcome back. I'm Tyra. I'm Sharon. And this is True. So today, we're going to be talking about our top favorite vegan, gluten-free, soy-free restaurants in Manhattan, NYC. Yes. I'm really excited because food. Not all of them are going to be completely vegan or soy free or gluten free, but these are the ones that we really enjoyed when we lived in New York City. Right. So, this specific video is for only Manhattan, but we're going to make another video to follow up of all of our Brooklyn favorite eats. And these are our favorite eats, as in we ate there every other day because we don't eat out every day, but like a lot. It's important, you know, treat I yourself for real love veganizing food and that's why I originally had made plant-based bellies which is now um, flavors and flights. Go check it out, you might like it a lot. But I love trying different vegan restaurants because it inspires me to go home and veganize meals mm -hmm. that I might not normally make on my own. She sees something, she can make it like that. Yeah. It's crazy. But I like trying stuff obviously now that I'm vegetarian but also gluten-free stuff because there wasn't so many options when I first became gluten-free mm -hmm. and now there's so many different options. But these are like our, the ones that stood out to us, the ones that you should know about. So I will link to the actual restaurant mm -hmm. and check them out. Um, make sure you follow Flavors of Flights because the images we're going to be showing you here are going to be the same images you'll find on our page. That's how you'll be notified of where we're eating around the globe, not just NYC. This video is not exclusive for only vegans. Like if yeah. you're thinking of trying different foods, it's important to try new things. Yeah. Like some of these places I tried when I wasn't even vegetarian and I was like, wow, you know we say it's good, bro. Yeah, so we you're lying. lying. <laughs> you don't get the itis afterwards. It's just good food and you feel good. Well, I'll like count it down and then we'll say what we're gonna rate it. Okay, and so <laughs> one is obviously like probably wouldn't eat there again. Five being I would eat there again. I would recommend to my mother. Peace Food Cafe, we love the dining experience. It's super cute in there. Yeah. And you can go in during the day and work um, if you have your like laptop, if you're in school, or if you work online. It's a great place that you can sit down and chill. And their menu is super diverse. There's a lot of soy um, product on the menu, but there's a lot of soy free options as well. Right. Our fa My favorite was the chickpea fries. Fire. It is so good. They have gluten free options for dessert and everything. I love the cookie sandwich, but if you like a lot of frosting, you might not like it. And their cookies are like huge. Yeah, I always have such great soup. It's really good. Um, and you, you have to ask like what the soup of the day is. They always have like a vegetable or yeah. like a lentil. And so yeah, I'm a soup gal, especially in the winter time. Their pizza, I usually get the, um, I think it's mushroom potato and arugula with cashew cheese and pesto and it was really really good. I really wanted their chicken pot pie but it had soy in it. Smoothies and teas. I would also go and get tea from time to time. What would be Ray Peace Food Cafe? Think about it. Out of five. One, two, three, five. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's no, awesome. I have no complaints. Next is a place that's kind of like a fast food branch in yeah. the vegan world, I it guess. Does. I don't know how many they have across the nation. I know that they have one here in LA. It's but it, yes, is by Chloe. Their meatball sandwich, I think, is soy free as well. And it's pretty good. My favorite is their desserts. Their whole menu is vegan, but they have certain options that are soy free and then certain options that are gluten free. Gluten free cupcakes, chocolate chip cookies. They have different specials throughout the year, and so you have to check in. They'll have like a seasonal lemonade, seasonal soup, seasonal avocado toast that will have different things on it each month or in it each month. Their smoothies are pretty good mm -hmm. and they have seasonal smoothies as well. Cashew mac and cheese, I think. Mm -hmm. And you can get like shiitake bacon or not because I don't really like that, but like it's really good. Yeah. And you can make that gluten free as well. One, two, three, three. Four. <laughs> and the only reason I say three is because the Baikoi Sweets, which is the dessert section, is really like outstanding. Yeah. The food um, part, I just think that their food menu could be a little bit more like they could expand. They could expand. There's room for growth. If you're not, if you don't have those types of allergies or you don't worry about those types of things, then it's actually a pretty great place. But it's more like a fast food type of vibe. <laughs> Bar Verde. Let's rate it. One, two, three, ten, five, twenty, 30. fifty. 
500. So there's like three vegan spots right next to each other. So the one we're gonna talk about right now, which is Bar Fair Day, this is the one that's Mexican inspired. Yes. Then there's one that is um, pizza, and then there's one that's Asian inspired. The nachos there, their nachos are amazing. Are you gonna like put a picture of it? Yeah. Tacos, I get the jackfruit tacos. I get the and cauliflower taco. Uh, oh, and they are just. Really good. Can't forget the little side side of their Spanish rice. More on, on the expensive side, but it's totally worth it, and it's in a super cool area. <laughs> you just want to get cute and get some drinks and some good ass food yeah. with your friends. Like this is the place. Yeah, really, really. Delicious. And the staff has always been sweet yeah, to us. Staff has always, always been sweet. Making sure we're good and like we're always like the food's fire. Like yeah. freaking out every time. Like it's the first time we've been there. But. Yeah. Next restaurant and I know that um, this is supposed to be pronounced ya 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 but the restaurant actually purposefully pronounces it ja 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 I think it's supposed to be like ironic like the uh -huh. yeah. yeah they have a location in Manhattan and they have a location in Brooklyn but I have been to their location in Manhattan and it is pretty small and you do want to go early during their or during their non-busy times because um, you will be waiting for like 45 plus minutes to get in and get a seat. But they have great margaritas, burritos, enchiladas. They only have queso at the Manhattan location, but this is one of my like top favorite spots. And you've never gotten to try it. Yeah, I never tried it. So I my they had they had gluten free stuff, but they I didn't did, really yeah. see their pupusas. Goes. I think their pupusas were gluten free. My rating for ya 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 ja 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 is five. Double zero. Two, three, four. Five. No, theirs was decent. It wasn't even the crust, I feel like. It was the fact that I'm picky, so I wanted something very simple, like a cheese pizza. I tried their margarita pizza, and then I had their like white truffle pizza. I love like fresh basil, so it comes with a little fresh basil. It's like the regular crust, not their uh, gluten-free, is fire. But the pizzas are a little bit smaller and a lot pricier. But yeah, you can go and have a nice little glass of wine, like we did. And we were for my birthday. It was so nice. Yes. It was perfect. It was delicious. Just amazing. But the next is one of our absolute favorites. Which our next favorite. Okay. It's like it's a low key vibe. It's very low key. But it's still like elegant. It's very elegant. Like it's a low key vibe. And sometimes they have live music, which is really cool. Ready? One, two, three, five. It's like a 20, but it's wild rice and creamy risotto croquettes is what I have. Tons of options for raw vegan so and they're like really good like they have these like zucchini rolls that have a little bit of cashew cheese in the middle uh, i've tried their raw uh quesadillas before really really good more on the healthy side i think they also have burritos that are gluten free burritos. cashew lemon pasta that's gluten free but i had the shepherd's pie but it was so good it was fire and then for dessert, so we had the ice cream brownie sundae. Yes, ice cream brownie sundae, and then you've got the carrot cake. Yes, How I did. The, carrot cake? the next place is Go Zen. I love this place because it is not so pricey. Mm. It's kind of low key, and there's a lot of items on the menu that you can either make soy free or already naturally come soy free. So I love that, especially with Asian dishes. You know, a lot of soy sauce is usually used, but this is one of those places where. You can get it soy free. Mushroom doesn't really like their fried rice. Speaking for me because being gluten free, when I go to places like that, low key, the rice is probably the only thing I can really yeah, get. Yeah, yeah. If they don't make the noodles or whatever else gluten free. So it's like, if the rice don't hit, then it's a no for me. But it must be quick. Just make sure you say that. I don't want. Ready? One, two, three, four. Three. I didn't enjoy them like that, but I was happy to watch you enjoy them. Thank you. Period. Period. Poop. <laughs> I don't think we've ever tried digging, but I think they have multiple locations. This isn't something that's just strictly to New York. I used to go to school right next to a digging, and this is one of those places that has non vegan options and vegan options. So I would get like a bowl of greens and vegetables and potatoes, craft a little salad bowl. But you know how you walk down like the food line? The food looks like it's like home cooked. Mm. Like your aunt made it. If you want like vegetables or potatoes that are like warm and hot, I rate them like a three because they just don't have a lot of 
a ton of vegan options. The next place is Ann Pizza, and we actually discovered this place in Detroit. I think it was like Washington, D.C. Oh yeah, it was in Washington, D.C. Yeah, we discovered this place there, and then we literally came home like a week later, and, and we, we were walking there. around in New York, and we found Ann Pizza. And so they have gluten-free crust, they have regular crust, they have uh, vegan cheese, and they have normal cheese. So they're dual, so if you want to go there with your non-vegan friends. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, it's, it's like a options. decent size, personal yeah, kind of thing. Nice. You get this like long box and it's like an interesting shape. Yeah. Alright, so what are we it's gonna make? Um, okay. One, two, three, four. four. Yeah, because I like it a lot and it's really convenient for like a quick little pizza, yeah. but it's not the best pizza I've ever had. Yeah. But it's good. It's like yeah. pretty fresh. Mm. <laughs> Body and soul, I would rate, um, I would say like a four because I think a lot of their chocolates have a lot of soy. Other than that, it's a five because they have so many different options for sweets and things like that. Yeah. I They're usually at the Union Square Market on like the weekends, whenever that happens. So I'm gonna have a picture of it, what it looks like here. <laughs> Bow. I've tried their cookies and other vegan They don't have, actually have like a location, but they have like a tent that you can come and visit at certain different locations. I've, I've seen them in Prospect Park sometimes when they have um, the farmer's markets there. But moving on to our next dessert, which is uh, Seed and Mill, Love Halva, and they're located here. Halva is basically sesame seeds that are ground up into like this. It looks like a cake almost. Like halva, I'm rating A5. Like I'm literally addicted to this stuff. So you can get halva that's chocolate, peanut butter. You can get halva that's mm. like, has rose petals in it. It tastes like peanut butter, but like better. I don't know, it's just better. That's and crazy. like I said, they put a bunch of different stuff onto it and you, they cut you off a little slice and they package it up for you, take it, you go. But I love it. And you guys should definitely try it. It's something really unique that you can get in New York. My favorite, one of my favorite bakeries of all time was Posh Pop, and that was located in Manhattan on like, what street was that? I think it's Bleecker Street. But I don't even know where to start. They have fire gluten-free monkey bread, cinnamon rolls, they have cake, like anything you can think of for a bakery, they've made it gluten-free. The one thing is, yeah. the same options, most of the options that are gluten-free aren't gonna be vegan. Yes. Obviously, I'm vegetarian, so they would have like milk and egg in them some of the times, but they do have vegan options. But unfortunately for Tyra, they weren't soy free, so it's like, you gave me your take, you know? Like, I would rate them a five for sure. It's been gluten free for years, like since I was 12. If you know the struggle, then you know of finding like desserts that taste similar to your childhood desserts that pop, they do a good job of like making it still taste really sweet and like really similar to those same desserts. No no shade, just all to my experience. <laughs> it's like something that's kind of all over too, not just um, specific to New York, was Van Luen. And they have only a few vegan options, but a good amount of different things, some gluten-free options. And well, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really like going there that much because it, it's hard for me to find stuff that's both vegan and gluten-free. And then with their ice cream, the stuff that was gluten-free wasn't vegan. Mm -hmm. So I would have to like choose and I'm not gonna choose gluten because I'm sick. Oh, so okay. I think I had a root beer flow. I love Van Luen <laughs> and I go there from time to time, but most- I swear you have like, a Van Luen radar. Yeah, like, <laughs> I know where they are. I find them around the corner. <laughs> and I love that they're um, cones. I can have their cones. I can't, usually mm -hmm. can't have a lot of different places like ice cream cones because they usually have soy in them. Mm -hmm. But I believe that theirs are soy free. All right, one, two, three. Four. I'll give them a four too. Okay. That whole beer float was good. I La, La New Yorkina. Yorkina. So yeah, that's what it's called. That's cute. And I like it. they're basically like ice pops. So there's non-vegan ones, but they are ha they have a lot of vegan options as well. And I always get the I think it was like lime raspberry with basil. Now I know what you're thinking. But it was good. <laughs> And With basil? I just realized what you said. Yeah, they have like one that's like lime and basil. Oh, and it's oh, like so good because it's obviously sweet. It's like yeah. they add sugar to it, so it's like really it's sweet. different. And so if you're there during the summer, make sure you swing by there because it's very inexpensive and very delicious.
I believe it. And they have different <laughs> sorbets, I believe. Like a lot of different sorbets. I still, I've never tried it. What do you rate them? I would rate them a five. Mm. Just because it's like so unique. You can get so many different flavors. Like, if you guys really like <laughs> this video. <laughs> if you like this video, you better like, subscribe, and follow us on all of our social media platforms ASAP because you're not going to want to miss out. That was a lot of hand movement, but I'll just I like when you say because you're not going to want to miss out. Because you're not going to want to miss out. We're going to follow up with the Brooklyn restaurants, which I actually had more restaurants to share with you guys from this is only Manhattan, Manhattan. Yeah, like this is only Manhattan that's crazy that was so, a lot it feels like and there was also some in Harlem that I wanted to add to this and like other places and I was like let me just narrow yeah, down so yeah. maybe we can make another video about right. that in the future check out our Brooklyn Eats subscribe to us here and while you're at it click our links below to follow us on Instagram and Twitter <laughs> T Y R A A B E L L on Instagram and Twitter. And I'm at Sharon Bell on Instagram and at Sharon Bell with three L's on Twitter. And then for the true account, our Instagram and Twitter is at we are true underscore. And the flavors and flights is at flavors and flights on Instagram. So if you get confused, if you get lost, just play this video back. <laughs> And listen to what I just said. Play it back or just go to the description. Yeah, that not, too. Yeah, but I know you want to see me. <laughs> you can get links to all the restaurants that we mentioned in this video in the description below. And like we said, you don't gotta be a vegan. We're not out here trying to. We ain't trying to press you. Do what you want, but these are good places to eat. Period. If you have suggestions. Places that we need to be trying in New York, in your city, in other cities, or and in even LA. in LA. Please like, tell us. Know. Like, tell us on Instagram. We'll go Twitter, straight up. <laughs> here in the comments below, we will go. We'll go check it out. Yes. And we'll give you our rating. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Stay true loves. Peace. Peace. <laughs> and I got it like that in the rock and in the back.